Good to go? Good. Okay, so abdominal stuff today. So, first of all, what I don't like, what I don't really like very much is sit-ups. Uh, the reason being, the reason why I don't like to train sit-ups is because when people come to me a lot, it's, it's, it's postural abnormalities. So if we look at the standing posture, we want to be nice and up. We don't want to kind of have this sort of shoulder rounding that a lot of people have from desk jobs and the, this sort of like hypotic thing going on. So for me, a lot of problems there lie in here, so we're, we're already crunched over anyway. So if we then start doing sit-ups, we're training that deficiency. Um, and I'm sure there's a few of you out there that have already have done like 30 setups in the past and what you end up getting is a sore back rather than abdominal exercise and an abdominal exercise actually trains your core and activates everything to stabilize you. Obviously stability, we want to be like so, thinking of the core being nice and strong and stabilizing us. Yeah? And ultimately, trust me, guys and girls out there, you're gonna get a lot more abdominal definition from actual core exercises rather than coming over and trying to headbutt yourself and doing these sit-ups which a lot of people just don't like. So let me show you a couple of things to try and then you can give me a message and let me know what you think about it if, uh, if you think they're any better. So first of all we're going to go for a plank. So what I see a lot of people doing in the gym is they do a plank and again because of the whole anterior pelvic tilt thing, which I addressed in my glute bridge video, they're getting in and they're going like this. So immediately, all I feel is stress in my lower back. I don't feel any any work in my abdominals whatsoever. Um, so what I do to address that, because a lot of the time you won't know that you're doing it. You, you'll just think, "What does my back hurt? Why do I plank? Why does my why do my abdominals hurt?" Is get a little med ball or a kettlebell over there either or, and just stand on. Start off by resting just on your transverse abdominus, so we want to kind of like just be around here, just below the tummy butts and about an inch below. Roll it on there, and then just try and resist away from it slightly. And then if you want to get a little bit tighter, contract the glutes, so squeeze your bum basically. Relax the head and the shoulders, and try and get a straight line as possible. If you want to get a little bit more clever with it, it may look a bit funny, but go to the gym to eventually look pretty nice and look pretty at the time. Put yourself into position and so and drop in. Find your contact in between your shoulder blades your head, and your lumbar spine. And then resist. And make some more. Give that a go. I'm going to give that a go for 20 or 30 seconds. Try and hold it for a minute. Once you can hold it for a minute, Now, it's a very good exercise, this one, stability ball plank, and we're going to add something else to it. But only do this, say, so once you can do that for a minute and you feel confident that you're feeling your abdominals. Once you can, and I would recommend that if you're in any gym that you're in, use, use the mirrors. Reason being is when you get into your plank position, again, you want to feel your abdominals, but you want to be able to look in the mirror and just basically make sure you're in good alignment. If you're not, if you're not in a good alignment, then go back to your plank and just try and hold it for a bit longer. If you are and you're happy, then from there you can just basically add a bit of planking and start rolling the ball up. Again, if you do this and you do that at the same time, then, then don't bother, just take it back to the plank. If, if you do it, but you say you're really good to here, but then as you get a bit further you sink, then just move to the area that you're comfortable. I guarantee that I feel like a bit of a buzz sort of going from the abdominal area. So, again, sit ups for me, not ideal. Train you to be here because hardly anyone actually comes up with a good neutral spine. You'll be coming up and just trying to get there. Rolling out or opening up in a plank trains better posture, for my opinion. Okay, and that is just my, that is my opinion. Um, again, with the plank, it's called an abdominal plank, so you should feel your abdominals. If you don't feel your abdominals engaging, then you're probably not doing it right. And what you're probably doing is just training some sort of deficiency, as I said, coming into that position where you're here. 
nice and tight with the abdominals, brace the abdominals and hold it for as long as you can. Once you feel the disengagement of the abdominals, stop. Simple as. Okay, that's it for today. Um, like and share. Give me a like on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel and give my business page a like on Facebook. There's much more content coming all the time. Um, and message me with any questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.